Hello everybody! In this video, I would like to briefly describe how you can export a finished game from Godot to the Windows platform. I will demonstrate this process on a point-and-click adventure game that we've been working on for some time. I wouldn't like to reveal too much of the story yet, so I won't showcase more for now. After all, the video is about exporting to Windows, so I'll stick to that. The game itself is currently in the phase of internal testing, and I'll definitely reveal more about it in January 2024. Actually, I described the basic export process in the last part of the tutorial on creating a space shooter. However, since it's the final installment of a 17-part series, not everyone has the patience to reach that point. Therefore, I decided to create a separate and more detailed video. So, we can assume that our game is ready for testing and we want to send it to someone who doesn't have a Godot engine installed. So it's necessary to create a standalone and independently functioning application. To achieve this, it's necessary to import the so-called export templates. Let's go to Editor and Manage Export Templates. It should open the Template Manager. Here you can easily download and install all the required resources with a single click. As you can see, I already did that before, everything is installed here, but if it's not the case on your environment, just click download and install and you should simply follow the instructions. If the manager shows errors like unable to fetch the mirror list or the one-click solution doesn't work for other reasons, we can do it manually. Let's visit the Godot Engine official website click download and scroll down to find export templates. It's here and here, depending on your version of the Godot engine. Then back in the template manager, we would simply click install from file and locate your downloaded archives and install the templates. Now, when the templates are ready, we can proceed with the actual export. Let's close this, open project and export. And we would click add and select the platform we want to export to. Again, I already did that before, so I already have installed templates for Windows Desktop and Mac OS. Let's click a Windows Desktop and proceed. A panel with plenty of parameters appears. Let's set only the most important ones. So export path, this is uh, to specify the folder where the final file will be created and it contains the file name as well. Then binary format embed PCK. We'll check this option if we want to generate only one exe file that would encapsulate all resources. If you leave it unchecked, Godot will create exe to include the engine runtime and pck to contain your game assets. Let's keep it as it is. And let's scroll down to the application section and we need to provide the company name and the product name. That should be enough for the successful export. Let's try it now. As we can see, there are some warnings. 
but we'll ignore them for the time being. Let's click on the export project and uh, let's, I think we can uncheck export with debug, we don't need the console and other things and click save. Let's see what Godot has created for us. I think we can open the explorer here. Yeah, here it is. Uh, of course, um, this file already contains the icon I provided uh, in a way which I will briefly uh, describe here, but usually you would see only this uh, Godot standard icon, as you can see in this space shooter export. The reason is that Windows probably caches the previously used icon somewhere and it used it automatically. But when I click um, properties, you can see that the Godot icon is still there. So we will address it right now. So what we need to do is to provide the icon in the application icon and it is also safe to open project, project settings and in application config, let's scroll down to icon as well and I provided the icon in the standard PNG format. This should be enough for our, for, <laughs> sorry, this should be enough for our icon to be displayed in the taskbar when the game is launched. However, for the correct display of the file in the explorer or on the desktop, it is necessary to set this as well. And there is another section for the icon, it's called Windows Native Icon, and it's supposed to have a path to the ICO file, which is a Windows format to define icons in multiple resolutions. And since our icon is usually a PNG, we need to convert it to the ICO format first. I did that, of course, but I'll show you how you can do that. The best tool for this is Image Magic. Let me open the uh, web page. It's available for free and works well. Godot recommends it in the official documentation and provides a guide on how to do it. So we will simply just open a command line, cmd, like that, navigate to our, to our folder with the game and run the following command. Here it is. I won't execute it again because I already have the file, but you would simply execute it and wait for the file to be generated. So uh, now we are prepared for all possible icon sizes that may appear on Windows. The next step is to embed this icon into the generated exe file, which can be done using another freely available tool called rcedit. Just download the latest release and set the path to it. I will show you how to do that. So I will click here, which I have opened the GitHub project with this project. I will provide the link in the video description. You would simply click here to releases and download the latest available release for the platform. So I did that for this RC Edit X64 XA. I already have it there. Let's click back to uh, Godot, close the export settings, uh, project settings, and again, editor. And here we select editor settings, scroll down to export and select Windows. And this is supposed to be the path to the RC Edit tool. Let's find it. I think it should be somewhere in the downloads. Yeah, here it is. Close. And now if we reopen the project export dialog, the warning is gone. It's no longer there, which means that uh, when uh, Godot is ready to export our game with the icon provided. Let's try it out. I'll export project and we'll just keep it as it was before. Click save. Yes, I want to overwrite and no longer the warnings are there or errors. And we can see in the console that the RC edit tool has been invoked and created the file with the correct icon, which we can see here. 
of course, as I said before, if you don't see your icon right there, uh, it just don't panic. It means that Windows is uh, retaining the previous icon in some cache, but it should expire after some time and everything should be fine. The last thing, when you run such an application, it is very likely that an ugly blue window with a warning will appear stating that the Windows Depender does not trust our application and refuses to run it. In such a case, two things can be done. First, do nothing and just ask players or testers to grant an exception to the game by clicking on more info. Or buy an expensive certificate, which would be several hundred USD a year, and add a path to sign to exe in editor. Editor settings, in general, oh, let me just show you. <laughs> editor, editor settings, and again, general export windows, and there is another property called sign tool. This will be necessary to, uh, I mean, then it will be necessary to activate code sign in project export. Is that right? Yeah, project export. And if we scroll down or up, there is the section code sign where we would click enable and then provide all uh, necessary data to locate our certificate and let the Godot sign it with the sign tool. You can also generate a self-signed certificate, but it may not m help much as Windows Defender will most likely react in a similar way. The Mention Sign tool can be obtained by downloading and installing the Windows SDK from the Microsoft web, which I opened here. So again, I will add this link to the video description. You would simply download this Windows SDK, install it, and once it's done, you can locate the Sign tool exe. I already performed the installation, of course, so I will skip this part and show you directly how to set the path. So as I said, we would open editor, editor settings, scroll down to Windows, Sign tool, and I believe it was here. Uh, up, up. Program files and Oh, of course, I forgot. So <laughs> let me open the file. Yeah, program files, Windows, Kids, 10, Bin, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, Windows, Kids, where is it? There. 10, Bin, some version, probably the most recent. And our platform is x64, and here we can finally find the sign tool. Here it is. And that should be it. So if we have a certificate to use, this would be the way to use it in Godot, so Godot can take care of the signing process. And that's it. All the settings need to be done only once. Godot will then save them to the export process CFG file and automatically use them in future exports, making the whole process easily automatable in a CI pipeline. But more on that some other time. For now, take care, have a wonderful Christmas, a beautiful rest of the year 2023, and see you in the next video, probably sometime in January 2024. Best luck! with your games.